Hey, Bart here with Cycling Strong. So one thing that I found, uh, I'm fairly new to mountain biking. Dave has been riding mountain bikes for most of his life. I, and uh, so when I start getting into certain areas or certain terrain when I'm racing, I, you know, I have the tendency to probably not hammer through it like I want to because I get a little bit more nervous or you know, worried about stuff. And so I started searching for a product that would be super light, super convenient, at the same time protect when I want to go through those kind of areas. And not only for myself, but I've got a son that races high school mountain biking, and I wanted him to build his confidence. So I wanted Dave's opinion on, on uh, some of that because he's rode so much. Now, I want to tell you that uh, I saw a study that they did with the G-Form, and I also have another set. I won't bring them up because I don't want any bad press for them. But uh, they took a wine bottle, they stuck it in Brand X, they dropped a bowling ball on it, the wine bottle broke. They took this, they put a wine bottle in it, dropped the same bowling ball on it, and the wine bottle was fine. Blew my mind. I was like, whoa, they That's put cool. their put their mouth where it was yeah, on this. Yeah. But talk about protection and when you should use it, sure. um, and, you know, on the bike and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So these are great options for people who are new to new to mountain biking. They're a little bit nervous about going down. Uh, or even advanced riders trying to push the limits. Mm. The last thing you want to do is stack it up for whatever reason right. and put yourself out of being able to train or race, right. uh, which I have become familiar with the past couple of years. And, and it would have been nice to have some of this equipment mm -hmm. uh, to you know protect. I was just pointing out how I hit my elbow so bad back in June, yeah. and I'm I still have some swelling from it. Right. And so uh, wearing something like this could have minimized that impact. Uh, these are super lightweight. Right. You know, if you're packing them until you get to more technical terrain. Right. No big deal. If if you're wearing them for your whole ride, no, no big, big deal. deal. Right. And and they've designed them to be. You know, this is thinner than what your bike short would be. Yeah. Um, but yet, uh, and, and then the padding super light, and from what I understand, when these take an impact, mm -hmm. they get stiffer. Right. And so it provides just a really awesome way to be flexible. Right. But yet when it does hit, it's going to protect the body. And, you know, it, it's always a concern, uh, like with the high school cycling, yeah. when I'm out there and I see the kids crash, Yeah. And you know maybe they're still gaining experience, and it it could put them out of right. racing. The high school season's pretty short. If right. that happens, like second race, and they don't recover, they kind of miss their whole season. And and I've had a number of the high school coaches talk with me about uh, wondering if if all of their riders should right. use them at least in practice. Right. Or or even in races. And this is, uh, you know, these are for your elbow, this is something for your knees. Uh, they don't weigh very much. Right. And, no. and, the, and when you have them on, it's not like it's some big constricting uh, object, you know. It, it's gonna be lighter weight than what your, what your arm warmer is. Right. And so in the summertime, it's not gonna be that big a deal. and it, it doesn't really restrict your range of motion or anything. And that was the biggest thing to me is when I put Brand X on, it really kind of restricted my, my motion. And I'm not going to say no, it's so dramatic that you couldn't ride in them. But what I did love about these is honestly, I, I, you can see I've crashed in this one. Uh, um, and you can see that you really can't tell I crashed in it even, even except for that. Yeah. And that was because of a bush when I came down that actually caught that. It wasn't the rock. Um, that hit me, but I, I, you honestly can ride in them all day, and yeah, it really doesn't bother you. To, it's not going to have a big impact. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, you know, I would highly recommend that for people who are nervous about going down. Yeah. For sure, get them. And it, it's one thing that I've been looking closely at because Lori and I will go spend uh, weekends in the winter where right. we're out for five or six hours right. on the mountain bikes, yeah. and we were practicing skills, practicing yep. some terrain. And if you're sitting there thinking in the back of your mind, I really don't want to tear my elbow open. Amen. Or I don't want to bash my kneecap. Exactly. 
and, and so you may hesitate, which sometimes that leads to worse outcomes, <laughs> or you hesitate and you don't, you don't push your limits right. and, and learn new skills. Right. And so I think that this is a great way to, to protect yourself. You know, it, it's not a question of if you're going to crash, yeah. but when, right. when you're out riding bikes. Yeah. It's, it's going to happen. Yeah. And so if you can kind of minimize the injury, minimize longevity of uh, how long a recovery would take, right. it's well worth it to, to use products like this. And it's really exciting to see something that, you know, they've gone to great lengths to make sure that it's flexible it and yeah. comfortable. Yeah, I so agree. I, I think it's a, it's a pretty cool direction. Check them out, G-Forum, um, and uh, you can, they got all sorts of write-ups on them, all that kind of stuff. But uh, any, any kind of pad is better than nothing when you're trying to do technical stuff. So you don't necessarily have to have this brand, but make sure that if you're nervous and you're trying new things, wear, wear the right stuff. Because if you wear the right gear, you will get through it and you'll build that confidence. And I just don't ever want to see a youth in high school mountain biking or anywhere else um, have an accident and then turn around and say, yeah, I don't want to do the sport anymore sure. because that sucks. That's not what it's all about. And, and they are going to have accidents when they're, when they're, because they're nervous, you know, they're, they're not used to it. So if they can wear something like this and have the accident, walk away laughing all for it. Not, yeah. not that I don't, you know, I yeah. still don't want to have an accident, but sure. anyway, that's my two cents. Dave's get out there, keep riding hard, plan seven coaching coaches, a lot of youth coaches, a lot of, uh, people in the Utah Valley, but, uh, he also coaches me and uh, does an amazing job. So check his stuff out and we'll be talking to you soon.